Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today, on Friday, the 21st of April, a short TA update on Bitcoin. Uh, what is happening? Are we holding 28k are we falling to 25k we're gonna uh, talk about that and i have three amazing charts that show you why you should zoom out a little bit at the moment because this is a special moment in bitcoin but let's quickly jump into the first chart guys bam over here this is the first chart and as you know we always start on the four hour chart and the four hour chart the bam bam indicator gave a short signal a definite short signal over there but the short already started over here i'm going to explain this very shortly this is a short signal Candles closing down below the yellow stepping line. There's a lot of yellow on the bottom, and the blue line is down below the white line, and the uh, white line is pointing downward. So that's a quadruple confirmation of that short. In between, we got a long over here, but we would never take that long because on the bottom there's too much yellow and blue. We don't take that long. The white line is still pointing downwards. We don't take that long. There's long as well over there. A shitload of blue. We don't take that long. The white line still pointing downwards. The blue line down below the white line. All indications that we don't want to take that long. And then you can see what happens if you just listen to the system and always use the same system. You stay in that short and that short will bring you all the way to there. And that's a shitload of profit uh, on the short term traders, guys. If you want access to the Bam Bam indicator, this full package, then you go to the bitcoinfamily.com. On the bitcoinfamily.com, you go to products and there you will find indicator packages. Also, you can stake family tokens and then uh, earn some family tokens. Now, um, then we zoom out. Bam, we zoom out to weekly. <clears throat> on the weekly we can see um, what we've been talking about for weeks already I told you guys yes we will be creating new higher highs but we also need to create higher lows to keep the structure in, um, in, in trading I will have a bottom high higher low higher high we need to create a higher high will that higher high be here at the level of 27 or 28k or will it even be at 25k that is now the biggest questions i don't think 25k because um, if you look very closely that uh, 200 weekly moving average at the moment is already around almost 26k 25,800. so somewhere in that area could be a higher low uh, uh, bouncing from that line is is that strange is that a crash no that's not a crash that's building structure look to the left we went up here you can draw we went up massively bam but we needed to retest to go higher again and then come back and retest and go higher again that is how bitcoin moves we can't go bam up like Elon Musk's uh, Elon Musk's <laughs> missile in one straight line uh, we need to go up and retest uh, certain levels and that's what we're doing at the moment so I am adding to my portfolio at 28k 26k and even if we fall to 25k I will open a beautiful long in Bitcoin now if you zoom out more then you get uh, less stressed uh, because this is the monthly chart every candle is a month and here you can see that you really need to zoom out look uh, everything on the monthly let's start here on the bottom of the chart uh, we will start here look if you look at the rsi we just popped our head above the yellow line we are just beginning if you look at the MACD, you, we beautifully are decreasing in that reddish candles to pinkish reddish candles to smaller ones. And that will uh, evolve to green hills again. And these green hills will take all the way till 2025. So yes, everything, um, in my opinion, is uh, exactly uh, working out as it should be working out. I'm going to uh, make these ones a little bit smaller over there. The sun starts to shine. We can also see here on the top yes we had a beautiful run for the last one two three four five six months now uh, touching that blue line almost over there we talked about long time before that we uh, were touching it 32,000 so that we, we we reach exactly that goal and we told each other yes if we don't break it we can pull back to the red line which is around 26k at the moment nothing strange guys um, if you want to trade all of this then um, i would prefer you guys to use bybit you can click down below on the links to buy bit to see what uh, special bonuses I have for you there. Uh, at least just signing up gives you already $30. And why buy bit, guys? Because just look at the user interface of Bybit and the possibilities you have over there. This is the full product suite over there. You have spot trading, derivatives trading, NFT marketplace, buy bit earn 18% per year. Buy crypto, you can trade options, you have the buy bit web3, and you have a full integrated DEX. 
Apex. You, you know I've been talking about Apex already for over a year. You should check that one out. Because Apex is giving you the possibility to completely decentralize trade from your own wallet without any custodial service by Bybit. So you are trading from your wallet, so you keep all your funds in your own wallet. And I think that is a very important step. And people should understand that the new way of trading is going to be decentralized trading where people have full control on their own capital and they can't lose because an exchange fucks up or something. I don't believe Bybit is going to fuck up. I think I think they are going to be the biggest exchange in the next bull run. You can see they already moved now to Dubai as well, but they're a full head of us. It's just a really cool exchange that gives a lot of their fees that they earn back to the community because of bonuses and all the kinds of um, gamifying they uh, organize for the uh, user. So, uh, just my favorite exchange, guys. Now, let's quickly jump into um, two more amazing charts. No, three more amazing charts that are these over them here. Um, this is the first one. <clears throat> this is uh, Charts BTC. Uh, created this one. I've been sharing this one uh, many times before, but why am I sharing this every time? Because it's showing you what the halving is. And now that we are nearing the halving in April 2024, so that's in 12 months, um, I want to educate you more and more about that halving because, look, every halving, the first halving we were around twelve dollars, the second halving we were at six hundred fifty dollars, the third halving at eight and a half thousand US dollar. What does the halving mean? That um, at the moment when we started binding bitcoins, fifty new bitcoins were mined every ten minutes. Then the next halving, twenty-five uh, new bitcoins were created every ten minutes. Then twelve and a half. And this halving now, this four-year cycle, 6.25 new Bitcoins are being created every 10 minutes. From the moment of April 2024, it will only be 3.125 Bitcoins every 10 minutes. So less Bitcoins are coming into the market, as you can see over there, which every time leads around that halving moment to a huge bump in the Bitcoin price. Why? Because all these miners, they need to break even with the cost that they monthly have. Employees, buildings, electricity, all those costs that they monthly have, they need to pay. So how will they pay this if they only mine 50% of the Bitcoins that they have been mining before? The only way that they can st they still pay everything is if Bitcoin doubles in price because then they mine 50% less Bitcoins but the price of Bitcoin doubles so they still have the same revenue to pay for all the fixed costs. That's how simple it works and that's very simplified uh, explained in Plan B's stock to flow model and a lot of people always say yeah the stock to flow model has broken. If the st stock to flow model has broken then you just don't believe that the halving will pump the Bitcoin price again. And that is what he's tweeting. Um, look at these red arrows. Every time past the halving, the Bitcoin price pumps. Here it pumped hugely after the halving. Here it pumped hugely after the halving. Here it pumped hugely after the halving. And here it will pump again hugely after that halving. To which level? I believe above 100k. It can go all the way up to 400k. A lot of people say saying that I'm happy with a 150k top of the next bull run. But you know, you never know because the dollar is collapsing, more uh, currencies are collapsing. So maybe we will push even higher if Bitcoin gets a more important role and more institutional investors uh, and other normal people, retail investors, uh, start to understand that, that protecting their capital is the safest way uh, in Bitcoin. And um, are we early? Yes, we are very early, guys, because bam, if you look at this chart, this is where we are. And compare it to the world population since 1980, uh, the growth um, over here, that's the blue line, of course. And then you use uh, compare it to the Internet users over here, this graph uh, from 1990 when the Internet started. I still remember the first modem. That, that sound for the ones who remember, you are as old as, my, as I am. Um, but that moment, if you compare that to Bitcoin, 2009 till now, we are just beginning. We are, we are in this phase over there. We still need to get that steep growth here all the way to 2030 will be a huge growth in adoption of Bitcoin. And that will lead to you bigger demand because the more the adoption grows, the more the demand will be. Bam, that's what Bitcoin is all about. Adoption of Bitcoin will happen. Countries will make it a legal tender. Stores, businesses will start to accept it. 
online you can already use bitcoin we as a family have been traveling for now six years bankless all over the world 42 countries without a bank account only using bitcoin to survive three dollars the oldest one is turning 18 the second one 16 the third one 13 they have their demands they need to have a normal life we are able to provide this with bitcoin and this will slowly become very clear for all people all over the world that bitcoin is that new standard that they should be living and that will create a huge flow of demand and then at that moment that the demand will grow because the adoption is growing we will understand that there's only 21 million bitcoin even if we had 21 million millionaires in the world, they couldn't, all, they couldn't all own one Bitcoin. Just let that sink in. That's how important it is. If you hold one Bitcoin in the future, I think you will be one of the few in the world that will be holding one Bitcoin. Now, um, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed this information. If you did enjoy the information, give the view a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about these charts? What do you think about the adoption growth? What do you think about everything else? I'm going to zoom out and enjoy my Friday because mostly on Friday we start the weekend whatever weekend is <laughs> with, with some drinks here in the in the marina in the lagos uh, thank you for watching and hopefully i can update you as well uh, on some real cool family stuff um, again when everybody is again in line in the portuguese vibe because the kids are still a little bit sleepy and getting adjusted to the time but um, i will be back with more family stuff thank you for watching see you tomorrow again bam